Let's see what it tastes like. Oh my god. Oh shit. No man, that was not. Oh man, that was not a good idea. Oh. Maybe it's the oyster thing. Anyway, <coughs> forget it. I want to talk about something else. Uh, when, I, when I was talking earlier about uh, brainwashing, I'm, I'm going to use a specific example, you know? Math. Math is the prime example of what our thinking is about. When we think, it's like math. So, <coughs> one tomato plus one tomato equals two tomatoes. You really believe that, don't you? <laughs> Oh my god, people actually, they think that, huh? They think... <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you something. Uh, how uh, things work and I... Wait, I need a pencil. I'm gonna get a pencil. Wait a minute. Okay, let's try this. Let's analyze uh, the little thing we've just made here. Uh, oh yeah. I've been drawing uh, this little thing. If you don't recognize him, that's um, it's supposed to be L. Ron Hubbard. See? Looks like him. Anyway, forget it. We'll try another uh, sheet. Okay. So, if you want to think like I think, you have to see the world in double. Okay, you have to see two worlds within one world. So, one tomato plus one tomato equals two tomatoes. That is true in one world and false, or rather, no. It's true in one world and neither true nor false in the other one. Okay, because I'm gonna show you how it's true in one world and how it's not true in another one. First we'll start with the first world. We'll call it world A. In world A you have a tomato. And this qualifies if you read the dictionary definition of what a tomato is, this qualifies. You neither have a circular definition, you don't have a vague definition, you have a definition. A tomato is XYZ. And you read what the definition is, and you look at this, and you recognize this as a tomato. Mm -hmm. So you have one tomato. This is also qualified as a tomato. So. You add the two tomatoes and you get two tomatoes. That is the world we live in. Now this world is to the real world what uh, a video game on your computer is to your computer. Okay, now we'll go and talk about the other world. World B. And people are taught from childhood to think in terms of world A. Because that is the world we inhabit. World B is a world we can never enter. We can never be completely in it. But some people are sick 
and sick means you're not like the norm and when you're sick you deviate and you are more and more outside of the box of world A and you deviate towards world B